Can Smartsheet send automated emails? Well, if you're asking that question, then you've come to the right place because today I'm going to be showing you exactly what is possible with this online tool. So I've just logged into my account here and I've set up a sheet and I'm going to be showing you exactly what is and what isn't possible. But if you want a quick answer to that question and whether Smartsheet can send automated emails, you'll be pleased to hear that it can. There is various different aspects of functionality in Smartsheet that will enable you to do this. And it's all part of their automation functionality. So what I'm going to now do is I'm just going to show you how this works. So if you were to set it up, this is what you can expect. So I've gone into this sheet, um, also known as a grid, if you're not familiar with Smartsheet and its terminology and how the platform works. So I've gone into this grid and as you'll see, it's empty at the moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to set up some of this automation to show you what um, an automated email would look like uh, should it be kind of... Um, action. So I'm going to click on automation. That's the first part of this. Um, and then you'll notice that you have three different options here. So you can create a workflow from a template, a workflow from scratch, and you can also manage any existing workflows that have been created. And at the moment we haven't got any. So what you need to do is you need to basically create a workflow. And if you go from a template, uh, you will it will kind of give you some, some tips and is generally a little bit quicker and easier to do, especially if you're doing it for the first time. And what's great with Smartsheet is I've got this template gallery and you can see all of the different options when it comes to sending automated emails. So the popular ones, and these are probably the main ones you're probably want, gonna want to do, is you can alert someone when specified criteria are met and that specified criteria can be anything that you set up or anything in the, in the spreadsheet itself. You can remind someone on a specific date. You can request an update at a set interval. So here we've got every week. Um, and you can even do things like move rows to other sheets when criteria are met. So obviously this one's not really related to automated emails. Um, the first three are. So you've got the notifications and reminders and here's just more, you know, these are just more of the options that you can set up. So as these are templates there, this is all kind of set up for you. Um, but you can do so from scratch as well if you didn't want to go into this complexity or you had a different kind of use case as well. Um, so we've got some other, other integrations here, should you be using Teams or Slack, um, just you know something to, to bear in mind. Um, and we've also got another section on updates and approval requests. So you can request um, updates specifically so you can ask other team members to, to kind of come into your sheet and do certain, certain things should, should they need to. Um, and you can also set up some automated emails whenever the sheet uh, changes. So, you know, people are assigned um, when, a, when the, a date has uh, been recorded, um, a cell has been changed. So there's lots of options here. But this, these templates just have kind of, if you used one, would kind of uh, set this up for you very, very quickly. So if I just kind of click on the first one, this is probably the main template you'd, like, you'd likely use. And, you know, you get a little overview here of what Smartsheet can do and how to set it up. But I'm actually going to go into this myself, um, but it gives you some, some ideas of when you'd want to use it um, and also how to use it. But I'm just going to click use, use template just to show you uh, myself uh, in real time. So I'm going to call this, um, let's call this uh, automated email example. And what we then need to do is just really run through this workflow. So you basically just run through step by step until you get to... Um, the well the, the the automated email sequence um, so the first thing is the trigger so what when do we want this automated email to be sent do we want it when certain rows are added or changed when a date is reached um, you know when um, rows are added so these are the main options so let's just say we want an automated email every single um, week you'd obviously select this one but for this to show you what it would look like if you were to set it up I'm actually going to do it when uh, rows are changed. So I'm going to select this because then I can show you the email itself. So when, when do we want the, um, when do we want the trigger? When do we want the automated email to send? So um, we want it when, so you can specify particular columns in the, the spreadsheet you're updated. You could do any field, you could do whether a comment's added or an attachment's been added to the sheet itself or as I say, any of these columns, I'm going to do it to, let's say 
I'll show you in a minute. I'm going to use task actioned because I want to I want to send the automated email when a task has been completed, basically. So I want it to be checked because this is a checkbox. Um, just just bear in mind, I'm just showing you this just to illustrate how it works and what you can expect. Obviously, there's a lot more to automated emails than this. Um, so run the workflow. I want you can have it, you know, hourly, daily or weekly, but I want it when it's triggered. So when that's checked, I want to know straight away. So add a condition to filter rows. So we don't really want any conditions, but you can do that if you wanted to. Um, I'm actually going to remove this. Don't want that. And here is the automated email. So we want to alert someone. So send specific people. So I want to send it to myself. So I'm going to do And the reason I'm doing this is so that you can see it um, when I've set it up. So there's my email in there. Customized message. Um, I'm going to call this automated email example. This is to demo and show what automated emails look like in a Smartsheet. So message includes. We want the link to the sheet. Yeah, we want the link to the sheet in all the fields. So very, very basic, but you get the idea of what I'm doing here. So save. So I've received this issue. One or more recipients are blocked. Right, what, what's this? So the following recipients are not receiving the, the notifications to unblock them, adjust automation permission settings. Okay, just need to change this. So here, here you can see, so there's obviously some security in place. We want this to be unrestricted and that should resolve the issue. Hit save and we've set it up. So here you can see the workflow. So um, if I go back um, and I was to go into here, manage workflows, it should take us to that screen. So we can see that it's in place. Um, so now I know that the way this is set up, an email will be, uh, or not email reminder or notification will be sent when I kind of check something in this column. So let's just do it as an example. Task will be test, test smart sheet automated emails task owner will be me this doesn't really matter so I, could, I can you know I don't I just want to show you how it works so um, task description test testing task status complete let's just say we've completed the task and now I'm gonna hit checked hit save okay so do bear in mind that automated emails can take a little while to come through. So it might not happen instantaneously. So do bear that in mind. I've got my email open here. Um, so I've, I've done that. We're at 147. So if it does take too long, what I'll do is I'll pause the video and then resume filming. Um, I don't want you to be sitting here and I don't want to be talking about nonsense until it, it works. So I've resumed recording at 49 past so two minutes have gone since we set this up and we can see that it's come in here and this is what it looks like so this is an automated email and you've got the description here um, this is a demo to show what the automated email looks like in Smartsheet we've got the link to the sheet itself and you can see the changes so in yellow are all the changes so you can see all of the fields have been entered and the task has been actioned and it also says who's kind of made the changes at the bottom so that is automated emails in Smartsheet. As I say, you can set them up in numerous different ways. Um, there's, you know, you can have multiple workflows working all at the same time. You can target specific people, uh, groups, um, and yeah, you can, as I say, there are loads of different templates to work with, or you can create from scratch. But ultimately, Smartsheet can send automated emails. So I hope this video was useful. If it was, please do hit the like button. That tells me I should continue making videos like this. And do consider subscribing to my channel. Uh, and if you head over there, I've got over 60 videos on Smartsheet training um, and just more about the platform in general. So do go over there and watch those as well. So with that said, hope you have an excellent day.